Gil Moore say our praise is on her until you how And double line answer the apostles to the elders of Graveman Stone. Shalom to all the brothers and mother dear across the road and pushing the show to our sincerity and all honesty. Shalom also to the few sisters, you know, this is a brother from James, Jamaica Camp. Um, Yashamai. Yashar. I war. I don't want to touch on you know, this article, you know, we see. You know, um, my push out, you know, from Canada. Or this bill, you know, basically, you know, clamped down. You know, mainly on this shoot, because you know, this is the number one, you know, threat to East or Europe. You know, this shoot I've been pushing, you know, for years now. You know, starting all passes and elders are down. Right, and the scripture do not speak of, you know, these things going to take place. But I'll go back to Bible prophecy. Right? This is an article from the um, the People's Voice. It says, um, it says, it says, Trudeau, that is Canadian Prime Minister, then, praying in public, reading aloud from Bible, is aid speech to be severely punished. Yeah. Then, it says, um, the Trudeau government has introduced a bill that could land Christians then, in prison for quoting, for quoting the Bible and uh, expressing a traditional faith-based opinion if the Canadian government deems it promotion of hatred or anti-Semitism. Right. Yeah? Right. So then deem, and I know we know that the deem is true, you know, as that. Uh, they are mentioned because, you know, this suit are basically I think I've been, you know, tormenting them you know, for so long, right? And we know that all in the they really part. So when we see these Come. things, we actually know that, you know, it is a time that, you know, the scriptures speak about, you know, with certain men, when it's true, going to get persecuted, right? Some of us going to get tortured. All these things written going to take place. Yeah, but then to the prophets, they have and they got more this time, you know, to us, you know, in this time we live in it. Right, you can give me the scripture. You want to look? I look, I look. Um, is there anyone in there? Uh, yeah. Bring it before 14 in it. Luke 21, verse 12. It says, But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you and deliver you up to the synagogue and into prison. So some of us are going to get brought to prison. Right? You know, you happen to the disciples them back then. You know, and fast what to know we're gonna happen to. You know, some of us may, you know, in this truth. We're gonna get brought to prison. Right? I can't talk any scripture. Some of us are gonna get tortured. Right? Some are gonna get bearded. Written it apart on, you know, what come, you know, from being from basically being in this truth. Right? So you see now all these things coming out, you know, very close to, to that time. Right? So this is what the scripture says. Right now take place, come brother. Uh, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. For the name of Yahweh, but I shall say, go on. And it shall turn to you for a testimony. He says, set it therefore in your heart, go on. not to meditate so before the, what you shall answer. So, the supposed thing upon what we have say, that when these men come to us, right? Go on. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to. To gain sin or resist. Yes, so even if you are going to be with us, right? so you're going to take a lot of faith in order to you know, make it true. You know, all these things, you know, you know, Esau, Edom, are big up on the earth right now. Right? Go on, brother. It says, um, Revelation 2, verse 10. It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. No, you're supposed to fear these things, you know, right? See, it's hard to come out, but you know, they're, they're planning to basically you know, punish who them deem as. You know, then they basically are religious Christian. Because I don't say Christian, we know that we didn't actually are Christian. Because, you know, we are the main, you know, um, one that, you know, as I say, they are pushing, push the Bible to that level. So we are basically. It says, um, again, look, um, Revelation 2, verse 10. It says, Fear none of these things, those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. That he may be tried. Yeah, so we're going to get tried. So all these things are basically prove us. Hmm? So some of us are going to get brought to prison. Man, what? And he shall have tribulation ten days. We're going to get tortured. 
right? Yeah, but then to even the, to even the prophets them, or even the even the going back to even during the time of the Greeks, right? Back to the Hebrew boys and back then, then get tortured. Says um, be what? Though, says be though faithful unto death. So we're supposed to be faithful unto death. So no matter you know how we have to go through, you know in the near future. Right, the key thing here is here, it's supposed to be faithful unto death. Because some of us are going to get put to death for this truth. Right? And Esau has been planning for years to come at us. We know that. All the things that they've been doing over the years coming up. Right? Yeah. Give me the one now with um, Wisdom of Salaman. Wisdom of Salaman 2. Yeah. And I will give you a crown. And I will give, I will give you a crown of life. Gone. So if we continue on to be faithful unto the end, how about Hashem is going to give us a crown of life? Right? Wisdom of Salaman 2. Wisdom of Salaman. Um, 2 and verse 12. What? It says, Wisdom of Solomon 2 verse 12. What? It says, Therefore let us lie in wait. Um, yeah, man, what? Start from this, yeah, man, yeah. It said, Therefore let us lie in wait for the righteous. Yes, yeah, so they have, been, they have been planning, as they mentioned earlier. They have been planning for years to come at us. Yeah. Right? The, because he is not for our turn. Yeah, and this article show you. Right, that these men, them, them don't like the way of the Heavenly Father. Because this way of life will contrary to the ways, you know, of the Heavenly Father. So they're trying to basically come with some bill or some law, you know, that will silence the truth. Okay. Because it, we are really and truly aware of the fourfold push in this truth. Christians are really caught in against certain things, or, you know, I bring out certain things from the scripture. Okay. Because you notice even some of these so called churches, they are part of the thing because they are basically married, they are alphabet people. So you have one and two, you know, we basically speak against it. But I mean us, you know, the Hebrew is like. Right, go on. And he is clean contrary to our doings. One. He upbraided uh, us with our offending the law huh. and objected to our infamy, infamy, the transgressions of our education. Huh. That's where the only men want to say on crime. Yeah. The, the abomination and wickedness, man. Actually, I take place on this place okay. right now. Yeah, yeah God. He professed to have the knowledge of your power. Yeah, and I tell basically, I say, we, yeah, we are basically, I say, we have the knowledge and we have the truth. As we are James, so we have the 100% truth. Right? And he called himself child of the power. God. He was made to reprove our thoughts. He's grievous unto us, even to be old. For his life is not like other men's, right. his ways are of another fashion. Right. Say, we, esteem, we are esteemed of him as counterfeit. Yeah, and, and, they're, 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 and they know that, right? They're, 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 1948, as they know them a counterfeit. Carbon copy. Yeah, my carbon copy, as the brother said. They know that. He abstained from our ways God. as from filthiness. He pronounced it. The end of the just to be blessed and make it is both that Yahweh is his father. Yeah, Yahweh is our father. Right? Believe that. Do fear. Go on. So let us see if his words be true. So this is the point I want to forget to. You know, from this scripture. As brother read the scripture earlier and said, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Because the devil will cast some of you into prison. So here. They said, let us see if what we are saying is true or we be really truly believe that the things that we've been saying over the years. So they're going to test us. Right? They're going to do things you know, in, in the near future, as I mentioned, you know, start with the demonization. They're going to demonize, you know, you know, and show the media. Right? You know, people are going to come and tell a lot of lies, you know, and us, you know, that, you know get the mind, get the sway the mind of the public against us, family members, and all these things. Right? And it's going to come to us and brought us to. Some of us to come to them, them concentration camp, you know, or, you know, certain places, you know, have a thought of some of us. Right? Because you know, you saw them thing. First, in, in, in spreading propaganda upon you, you know, have justified himself to come at you. That's what you saw wrong. Right? So they might, they might demonize us. Some of us are going to brought to prison, as, as the brother of the scripture, to torture us. So, 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 so this truth is very serious. Right? When you want to lift the truth, you say, no, he's not going to come at you. Right? 
Because you speak out against him, so the time will come, he's going to come to you. If you left yes or no, he's going to come for you. Right? But the difference between us and Hanu will live truth is that the how about Shemir shall be with us. As scripture says in Psalms. Okay. The Lord has, has not given us as a prayer to their teeth. Right? So this truth is deadly serious here. Go on, brother. Sir, um, let us see if his words be true. Let us see if what we are saying is true. If we really truly believe in all the things that we are saying. Go on. And let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. Go on. For if the just man be the son of Yahweh, he will help him. And we believe that every father is going to help us in the days to come. As scripture says, um, can I find it, brother? In, um, bring it over to me. Um, Isaiah 46, 46, uh, 46 and 16. So fear not, Jacob, fear not thou, thou worm, Jacob. I will help thee. Because every father is going to help us here. 14. Can I bring it over? The 14, which is. 46 and 40. Isaiah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm on the 46, the 41. 41 and 14. My mistake, I'm on the 46, the 41. I'm on the 41. My mistake, 41. Isaiah 41. 41 and 14. Isaiah 41 verse 14. What? It says, Fear not the worm Jacob. God says, say, Fear not the worm Jacob. So we're not supposed to fear what these men are going to do unto us. Right? The scripture keep on telling us here. Fear none of those things which those shall suffer. You know, we actually live in flesh and these bodies are weak. Right, but the spirit, as scripture said, the spirit is what? Renewed day by day. Though the outward man perishes the flesh, the spirit is renewed day by day. So the scripture said, Lord, how? Children said, How shall I say? Fear that. So fear that what? So we worm Jacob. Because right now we're not a defense. The second worm. The defenseless creature. Right? You know, so they come out of the ground, or out of the dirt, you know, and, and, and basically wiggling up and wiggling up and there's hands. And to bite them, so they burn them. Right? And they can't, they can't defend themselves. You know? Say, Lord, I refer to us as a worm. Because we live in a system now. But we are governed by he saw him. You know? We should go back to the curse. Scripture says, there shall, shall be what? No might in our hand. And our life will go hang in door before our eyes day and night. So we don't have no defense in this society or, 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 you know? or in this world. How the whole defense is how about Hashem and Shai? Right? So she said, fear not no worm, Jacob. Go on, brother. And he men of Israel. And he men of Israel. Go on. I will help thee, say the Lord. So the Lord said, I will help us. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And the Redeemer, the right. Holy One of Israel. Exactly. Right. Go on back to your scripture, brother. Go on to Wisdom of Solomon 2, verse um, 18. Go on. For if the just man be the son of Yahweh, God. he will help him. He's going to help us. Go on. And deliver him from the hand of him. Of his and he's gonna deliver us from our hands, our, our enemy. And our number one enemy is we saw him, which is so cowardly. Right? Man? So let us examine him with this spitefulness and torture. Okay, so you're planning to torture. You're planning that. So when you hear these, these things coming out, you're talking about you know religious or Christians who basically are prepared to come at us. We shall be a mention earlier and go back to prophecy. Right, man? That we may know his meekness Done. and prove his patience. Done. Let us condemn him with a shameful death, for by his own saying he shall be respected. Back to the article says, it says this massive this this move by Trudeau, liberal government, has been um, interpreted 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 by many. Yeah. as an attempt to criminalize Christianity. Yeah. Um, you know, Christian, as, as, as Christianity not really have said nothing to war. Yeah. They say you are going on the system. Yeah. But yeah. they just use Christianity because they know Christianity is, is um, basically Christianity going back to reading the Bible. Mm -hmm. I reading it and I understand it. But it, that actually aim at 
The men are the Lord out there and they are always on the Bible. Yeah, God, this is yeah. true. This, this truth is basically a check. Yeah. So check to them. Yeah. And insist it. Can. Because we are the ones out there where, where scripture says cry aloud. We are not. Lift yeah. up thy voice like a trumpet. We are the ones out there lift up our voice. Weak in, weak out. Weak out, weak out. In the public. Can. Daily, mm. put, daily brothers putting up videos. Can. Right around the clock, night and day. Yeah. Right, Korea is Christianity and traditional values under um, the pretense of combating um, and and defy its speech. Critics argue that the Trudeau support bill will lead to severe penalties for those who publicly practice traditional Christian beliefs, especially regarding controversial issues such as transgenderism. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Speak out against them. Them, 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 them alphabet. And them wickedness with them go on and them folly, yeah? Right. Yeah? So it's going to lead to a defaming of the word. Of the word man. Which basically, you know, scripture speak about these things. Defaming of the word also because when right, this truth get, get cut off, that's it, yo. Yeah. Right, they can't be a prophecy, brother. Um, they must eat and live. Eight and eleven, we must cramp up. They must eat verse eleven. One. Said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water. So the Lord said, I'm going to send a famine in the land. Right? Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water. We should going to ask for a famine of bread and water. But in this case, the scripture is speaking about the word. This truth we've been pushing as brother are going to the article. Right? The plan to clap down on, you know, you know, Christians, you know, a religious group that's speaking and that basically bringing out the scriptures or the Bible. So this is what the scripture says. Right, it's a prophecy, what? So not a famine of bread nor, nor Thir a thirst for water, water what? but of hearing the word. But of hearing this word, it's truth, what? Of the Lord, Yehovah Shem and Shai. So, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to see the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. You see the more people go, you know, I try to find our videos, you know, on the internet. Right. Now we find you know the villas. I try to find us on the highways and the byways and now find us. Because after years, you know, we are the highways and the byways and they don't want to take it. Right, this truth seems as nothing at all to them. But in the time, you know, when shit starts to really take place, you know, or things are happen out of the norm, and people need answers, then they're gonna to try to find us here. Yeah. But they need instant answers. Right? It'll be but too late. It'll be too late. Because I'm going to see because early. Give me? Give me the next scripture. I'll close up. So if you don't know more than article. Give me um, Ezekiel 7 and 25. You can see Ezekiel 7 and 25. Ezekiel 7 and 25. Yeah, go on. It says, this, it says destruction comet and they shall seek peace. Yes, yeah, so people said destruction comet and they shall seek peace. Right, so we're seeking peace right now, people. Right at the time of death and destruction, now people seeking peace. Right? There shall be none. And there shall be no peace because we live in a time of peace, we live in a time of war. Right? Chaos. Right? Distress. Distress. One. Mystery shall come upon mysteries. So going to be what? Mysteries upon mysteries, disasters upon disasters. And rumor upon rumor. Right. And, and mystery upon mystery. Rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet. Yeah, so they're going to seek a vision of the prophet. So things are going to happen, as I mentioned earlier, they're going to need instant answers. They're going to try and find us. You know, on the internet, or they're going to try and find us on the corner. Yeah. You know, if you give them answers, you know, you know, certain things will take place. It's about this what to do when this happens. Yeah? <laughs> Seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priest and counsel from the ancient. 
Alright, so that that's all praises and honor and dear how Marshall and Shai Marshall and Black Kudash. Then double honors to the apostles today, let's have a great stone. Shalom to all the brothers and more there across the world again. Yeah, and shalom to the few sisters. You know, pretty soon we're going to leave you know, the society. Yeah, shalom. Shalom.